Hi, I'm Joe Kowalski with RetainingWallExpert.com. Today we are at the Lowe's store in Milford, Ohio. We are taking a look at another one of our monster walls. This wall is about 32,000 square feet. It extends over 1,100 feet long and there are a number of sections of this that approach 44 feet high. This wall was constructed using green wall. It's a certain type of block. And the wall, that block batters back at about 20 degrees. Because of the wall batter, we were able to design this retaining wall as a reinforced soil slope. We designed it both ways. We designed it as a retaining wall and we designed it as a reinforced soil slope and we used the more conservative of the two design approaches to determine the quantity of geogrid and the length of the geogrids. The backfill material within the geogrid reinforced zone consists of a lime treated lean clay soil. What I'd like to do is walk along this wall and show you some of the features of this wall because there are some really unique things that we did. This wall supports a 150,000 gallon fire suppression tank and this wall also has areas where the wall splits and one wall becomes two tiered walls. The wall facing that we selected for this retaining wall is a block called Green Wall. It's produced in Cincinnati, Ohio. This wall block is actually about 22 inches from face to rear and it contains a pocket in the front which could be filled with topsoil for plantings and the rear part of the block is an open core such that gravel can extend through multiple layers of blocks which allows the gravel to connect to the geogrid layers going behind. We are standing at the highest part of the Lowe's retaining wall in Milford. You'll notice that there is a drainage pipe coming out of the bottom. In order to construct this wall here, we had to fill a valley. There is significant drainage capacity in the bottom several feet of this retaining wall to ensure that any groundwater approaching the old stream bed is collected and removed. This pipe collects and removes water from the pavement area. I mentioned earlier that some of the soils for this retaining wall had undergone lime treatment to modify them for use in the geogrid reinforced zone. We made sure to check that the pH of the lime treated soil was acceptable so that it would not affect the geogrids. This is the area of the retaining wall that has a number of curves, supports the water fire suppression tank, and also has the wall that splits into two walls. The Lowe's store in Milford, Ohio was one of the most challenging and demanding jobs that we've done due to the wall height, the use of lean clay soils, and the curves and the complexity of the wall. I'm Joe Kowalski with RetainingWallExpert.com, right here, right now.